What's going on guys? So the other day I was watching the movie 21 with a friend of mine and uh, you know I was like eh, it's a decent movie and then after the movie ended my friend was like you know yeah I agree it's, it's okay but I didn't get the math question like um, and for those of you that haven't seen the movie I'll just explain the math question real quick. Basically Kevin Spacey's all like hey I'm a teacher guys what, what's up uh, I'm gonna ask you a question now, one of you pick one of these three doors, and then the protagonist of the movie, Ben, he's like, okay, I'll pick door number one, boss. And then the, Kevin Space is like, all right, that could be a cool choice. Now, behind one of these doors is a brand new car, and uh, actually behind door number three, there's nothing. Now, Ben, do you want to change your choice, or do you want to stick with your original choice, number one? And uh, Ben's all like, you know, I'm going to switch my choice to door number two because... That means I have better odds. I have a 67% chance of winning this thing. And, uh, you know, Kevin Spacey's like, all right, you know your stuff, cool. Uh, let's do this. And, uh, you know, that's the math question that was in the movie. And my friend was like, okay, I understand once it gets down to two doors, there should be like a 50% chance. Why is it? Why does he say there's a 67% chance of him winning? And that's what I'm going to kind of explain in this quick video here. Um, so let's just take this example and uh, you know work with it. For our main prize, is not, it's not going to be a brand new car. It's going to be 20 pounds of bacon, and that's going to be behind door number two. So I'm going to put a W there. Now there's a couple ways you can think of this scenario and why it's a 67% chance of winning. So let's run through this a couple different ways. We're going to pick one door and stick with it, and then we're also going to pick one door and switch our answer um, once we have the opportunity to. So let's run through our three choices because we have three different doors that we could have chose from at the beginning. Obviously if we knew the bacon was behind door number two we would just go and eat it. But let's pretend we don't know which door the bacon is behind. So for door number one what we do is we say oh yeah I want to pick door number one and then Kevin Spacey's gonna be like okay I'm gonna show you there's nothing behind door number three. Do you want to switch your choice? And we'll be like no Bob I know it's behind door number one and he's like no actually behind door number one it's a load of cat poop and we'll be like dang it and uh, anyways we lost that scenario um, so the second scenario we can choose is door number two and then Kevin Spacey's gonna be like okay we could show him door number three or door number one because there's nothing behind either of them so let's just show him door number three there's nothing behind there do you want to switch your choice and we'll be like no and so we would have won this scenario um, as you can see, a big fat W there. The last choice, again, uh, this would happen. We'd pick door number three. Kevin Spacey would be like, okay, there's nothing behind door number one. Do you want to switch your choice? He'd be like, no, and we would have lost the scenario as well. So as you can see right now, our winning is only at a 33.3% chance of winning, which is pretty terrible. So now let's go to the other way of choosing doors. We're going to pick one door, and then we're going to switch our response and see how that works out. So again, we pick door number one. Kevin Spacey's like, hey, there's nothing behind door number three. Do you want to switch? We'll be like, yeah, we'll switch. So we'd end up picking door number two, which would have been a winning scenario. So we would have won this option. Now, if we started it off by picking door number two, Kevin Spacey's going to be like, okay, there's nothing behind door number one. Do you want to switch your response? We'd be like, yeah, let's switch it to door number three. We would have lost, uh, not one, we would have lost this scenario as well um, because we switched to door number three. But lastly, as you can already see, if we pick door number three, uh, Kevin Spacey is going to be like, there's nothing behind door number one. You want to switch? And we're like, yeah, we're going to switch to door number two. And this would have been a winning situation as well. So right now, as you can see, uh, we have two wins, one losses. So that's a 66.7% chance of winning or basically 67% chance of winning by switching when we have the opportunity. Um, another way that you can think of this because still that's kind of a confusing concept sometimes for people um, another way you can think of this is saying I know once we get down to two doors there's gonna be one winning door and one losing door so if I can find a way to pick the losing door in the first round and switch I know I'm gonna win that bacon uh, so hopefully we can pick a losing door in the first round and as you can see we have two do losing doors in the first round out of three so our chances of picking a losing door in the first round is again that same number and uh, you know that's what we're shooting for and then once we get to the second round we're just going to switch our answer 
and now it's just gonna flip this from a negative to a positive because we're gonna win that bacon. So hopefully that answered some of you guys' questions. If you watch that video and it kind of confused you, you didn't understand how they got that number, that's kind of the way that that works. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it's not really a tutorial or anything, but uh, I know it bugs some people. My friend, she was like, oh yeah, I watched this with some of my other friends. They couldn't figure it out. So thought I'd just make a quick video on it. Um, thanks again, guys, and I'll catch you later. Have a good one.